Welcome back to part 11 of the Triumph TR6 full race engine rebuild. This evening we're going to talk about the timing chain cover and the harmonic balancer that goes on the front. We have a new end plate and on my sprockets I've marked top dead center and also on the adjustable sprocket to the camshaft I've marked where my timing mark is. New chain, new sprocket, new bushing up here. All right, the problem areas for the leaks, oil leaks on the timing chain cover are the holes that go straight into the block. These holes, I've also marked them on my timing chain cover. These demand extra attention. What I like to do, and I'm using Primatex Ultra Black, is I use a thin coat with a brush, and you can get these flux brushes from Harbor Freight. I buy buck bunches of them. Thin little layer around, and also on the back part of the gasket, a thin layer. Then I put it on. Then on the bolts or the screws, I like to take a rubber O-ring. Again, I buy these from Harbor Freight. I'm not trying to support the Chinese, but that's where I get them. And I put it over here. And where it calls for screws, that's what I use. Also, when I'm using a bolt, I don't like to use a split washer, I use, or a nut rather, I use a flat washer. And again, I put the rubber O-ring under there, a little bit of Primatex Ultra Black on the threads, on the holes that go into the block that I indicated. If you do all this, and you're very careful, you should be able to have no leaks on the timing chain cover. But the timing chain cover is a big source of leaks if you don't. I've indicated, I've even marked with blue the holes that go straight into the block that I need to pay extra attention to. Once this gasket is on here, in plate, then I'll do a little brush another thin little film here, and then a thin little film on the back side of the timing cover, timing chain cover. Uh, new spring for the tensioner, a little bit of synthetic lube where it rubs, obviously a new seal. Now let's talk about the harmonic balancer. Now I'm not going to be using a extension for the fan because I use an electric fan on my race car. And if you if your harmonic balancer needs rebuilt there's a company that I use called Damper Dock. If you need their company, you can Google them, but if you need their information, I have it, just email me. While it's off, I like to mark zero for top dead center, 10 degrees advanced, which is an important part for your idle. Up at where I am at 5,000 feet, I can go to 36 degrees before top dead center on maximum, but at sea level, you're probably going to be in the 32 or 34 range. I marked all these. Also, <clears throat> I've gone ahead and put a little mark where I'm going to be adjusting valves. I've gone ahead and put a little marked. It just makes it easier. Once this is on, after the timing chain covers on, I use the eliminator from good parts for the extension, for the fan extension, and I like this. However, the 5 8 bolt that comes with the kit does not go as deep into the crankshaft thread as I would like. This is one and a half inches, it's a 5 8 fine. And I go ahead and get a um, one and three quarters. I think you could even do a two inch. But anyway, measure it. And you can use a little longer bolt, which I like. Put a couple of drops of blue 
Loctite on there. I wouldn't go red. By the way, if you ever do go red and you can't get it out, which has happened to me, um, even with an impact wrench and all this stuff, if you put a torch on the bolt with red Loctite, 